Hey guys, welcome to the fifth part of my video tutorial on how to create a map for Supreme Commander Forged Alliance with AI support. In this tutorial I want to show you how to texture our terrain and how to use our generated masks. So to start, we open our scene file. In the layers editor you can see that we have different sections of stratums. The lower stratum is on the bottom, on top of that stratum 1, on top of that stratum 2 and so on. So this means this hides this, this hides this, this hides this and so on. Now we set the textures for the lower stratum. Here in the tileset we can choose from different textures. For our map I decided to choose dry sand 001. For the general texture, that's the lower stratum. We also add a normal map for the bump map effect. Then in stratum 1, we change the tile set to desert. In stratum 2 we put another sand map, that's for the rock walls. And for stratum 3 we choose grass. Now our mask comes into the game. Lower stratum is the lowest texture layer, so here we cannot import masks. It wouldn't make any sense. So for stratum 1, we use our sand beach mask. So we go to import mask. Choose sand beach mask. This defines the wet sand here in this area. You can also toggle the visibility. Now you can see where this texture takes effect. For stratum 2 we use our rock walls texture mask. And for stratum 3 we use our grass texture mask. Now you can notice that we have here such a slightly bright border from an underlying texture. This means our mask was not perfect, but of course there is always some work that you have to do by hand to fix some smaller issues. When we hide this texture we can see the underlying texture. So this means that we have to extend our rock walls texture a little bit to get rid of these stripes. I choose the brush symbol and when I do that I have the choice of negative and positive brushes. Since I want to add something to this texture on this stratum 2 layer I choose the blue brush. The strength I put to 1 and the size I put to something like 13. Since the grass layer is on top of the rock layer, I simply have to paint over it without destroying the grass. I will do that now for the whole map, so I make a fast forward in the video.
okay now so that we have fixed the rock walls we want to take care about the lighting since here we have regions where the light is very strong and it looks burned out we go to lighting and we set the multiplier to something like 1.2 that looks already better also we see here that the grass layer is not really very nice since this looks very artificial so I will start painting on this layer grass layer is on stratum 3 we choose again the brush and we add some grass here again I will fast forward so it doesn't take so long for you guys Okay, now that we have fixed the grass issues and made the grass map a little bit more pretty, I show you how to add some props to the map since this makes the map really more alive. To do that, you go to props. And here in the resource browser, you also click on the tab props. Then under category, we choose trees. So we want to place trees first. You can place trees by just drag and dropping a uh, this pictures of trees that gives you a small 3D object or we can also define a brush for faster putting the trees into the scene because it would take you weeks if you would do it one by one so I choose this ficus and drop it into the list next one next one and so on okay when we're happy with the list we choose Enable automatic placement mode. Also, in the slope fall off angles, we can define an angle where he can put the trees. If it's zero, 0, this means you can only place trees on a completely flat surface. For now, if we choose 0, 020, we can avoid that the trees get placed on this rock area make the brush a little bit bigger start painting
In the next step, I will add some rocks. So we go under Desert, Rocks, and add some boulders to the prop brush. Also, I want to add some palm trees in the beach areas. Okay, now that we have placed our props, we start cleaning up some props in regions where we don't want them, like in the ramps. To do that, we just turn off Enable Automatic Placement Mode. Then we zoom in the region by dragging this rectangular selection area. We can select them, pressing Delete will delete the prop. Okay, this is it so far with props and textures. In the next tutorial, I want to show you how to import this map into the market editor, how to add spawn points and rush areas, how to add mass extractors and power plant fields, and also how to add markers for the AI. Thanks for watching.